see, I can't even play song in peace in this car because copyright infringement. I don't want to have no copyright claims, guys. Hmm. You people, you people, I'm so tired. Guys, you actually think that apartment hunting is like easy until when you start and then you are just exhausted because, like, if I tell you guys how many staircases I climbed today, I mean, I'm not just enrolling in a gym because, like, what the hell? I'm so tired. I've seen, like, if I'm not mistaken, like 10 houses today. 10. But I'm not sure I can include all of them in the video. If not, the video will be so long. I'm just gonna include like the top five so you guys can see what it looks like. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Divine Nome. Guys, today we are going apartment hunting. You guys know we've been planning to move out for a while now. How you guys supposed to know? I didn't tell you. Anyways, we've been trying to move out for a while now. And yeah, we have a couple of meetings with some agents. We're going to check out some property. <laughs> Today oh, no. we're going around the Ikoi area because that's Morning. really where <laughs> <laughs> we're going around the Ikoi area because that's where we are really looking to get a place because it's safer and yeah, it's closer to work, so it only makes sense. So yeah, we're going to check a couple of places. We have some um meetings with some agents. We are looking my goodness um we have like six places to go to guys so i'll show you guys what it looks like okay thank you i'm gonna show you guys what an apartment in ikoi looks like and we're also gonna be checking out banana island which i'm really excited for yeah so let's go let's uh, let's go okay see you So one of the things I think is really amazing about this first apartment is this rooftop view. So you get to have this really amazing view from the rooftop. Aside that, every other thing was just meh. So when you come in, the first thing you see is the living room, which is a very decent space. And you can also get like an amazing view from the window of the living room. Then you see the Vistos toilets, which is just basically the normal toilet vibes, you know, nothing really special. Then you get to see the kitchen, which I think is my favorite part of this house. Because if you know me, you know I'm obsessed with white. So having a kitchen with all white aesthetics was just like, yep, this is it for me. I can see myself literally cooking in this kitchen. So yeah, the kitchen was one of my favorite parts of this house. Then over to the master's bedroom, it's just the really basic room. The only good thing about this house, to be honest, is the views. But then the views also come with construction vibes. As you can see, there's still a lot of construction going on. So just be rest assured that you'll be getting sea vibes and construction vibes <laughs> from your window. And even though they assured us that it was gonna take a little bit before they are done with the construction and the painting, you know Nigeria, you just can't take their word for it. So yeah. The other rooms were also pretty decent as well. It was spacious, though it had just one window. So that was a bit of a uh, for me because I really wanted a place with large windows and lots of light. So yeah, the third room, it looked pretty much like the second room. Nothing special, all white aesthetics, which is nice. But then again, nothing special. The house was still under construction. The exterior part of the house was still under construction. It had a swimming pool, a gym, and a lounge. So the second apartment we went to look at, also in Banana Island, um, the exterior part looked really nice. It had a really big swimming pool with lots of greenery, so that was really nice. But then the house was downstairs, and I just don't like living downstairs. It makes you so accessible to everybody, and I just don't like it. The house also was already furnished. 
even though you have the option of furnishing it if you want this toilet let's just talk about this toilet if i'm claustrophobic which i am by the way i'm just gonna find myself dead dead you know and the whole place was just looking really old and dusty it was giving me very retro vibes i mean i just feel like if someone is coming to look at your property at least the least you can do is to clean it up it was just so dirty i couldn't see the beauty of the house i was just so overwhelmed by how unkept it was um, even though they assured us that they'll clean it if we get it but i mean clean it first so let me know what i'm getting into do you get but yeah the house was just giving me very retro vibes like it has its own aesthetics like very wooding very rusty very you get but still just wasn't my vibe because i couldn't see past the dirt like i just couldn't see past it i was like nah how am i going to clean this where am i going to start from like you know <laughs> yeah but yeah it reminds me of those like olden days house so we moved over to apartment three now i was really excited about this one it had a terrace for the first time i saw a house that had a terrace so i was already excited i was like yep lots of windows the lighting was great the views were not giving me any construction vibes it was just nice houses and it was like yeah very serene very quiet it's also in banana island as well so it just it was like yep i like this i really like this a lot you know this is like one of my one of my options like this is one of my contenders but then i went to the room and it was just one window then the toilet was giving me major claustrophobic vibes like the door could not even go past a particular extent because of how tight it was and again dirt it was just dirty then there was the second bedroom which had a lot of windows looked really nice as well because it's a three bedroom flat but then just look at the cupboard like am i a child am i <laughs> even though i could change that if i wanted to but then the tabs everything was just giving me very i don't know and it was nasty like because it wasn't clean so again if you know me <laughs> you know like i get easily turned off by dirt so i was just like nah but aside from that the lighting was really good the master's bathroom was um it was pretty decent it's pretty decent but i don't like brown so yeah the kitchen also very simple very nice this was it was one of my contenders i actually had to think about this for a bit but there were just little things that just wasn't ticking the boxes for me so yeah i had a boys quarters as well which is really nice which is really nice but again it was nasty it was nasty so i got a little frustrated I'm actually not impressed. I'm actually not impressed by what I've seen so far. And so far, I've gone to like three different apartments. I'm actually not impressed. It's either the place is dirty, or there's no good lighting, or it's just like old, like someone has lived there before. I'm upset. Anyways, I think we have two more places to go, so let's just go and I'll keep you guys informed. So far, no, nah, I haven't seen what I like. So we went over to the number four apartment. Now this was actually one of the houses that got me excited. Like it gave me major good lighting vibes, even though it didn't have a terrace, which I really, really wanted, but it gave me very good lighting. And it was just, I mean, just come, 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 come. Let's take a look at this. Can you see? Can you see those windows? Like, can you see the large windows? Do you know how much light will be coming in from this place? And can you see the view? Like, it has a seaside view. When I saw this house, I was like, yeah, this is it. This is it. Even though it was a bit pricey and way above my budget, but it was just good to look at. You know, it had a box room, so you know you have extra storage space. The floors were already done, so it already looked really, really nice. You know. But yeah, now I remember why I didn't really like this place. The rooms were really small, like it was really small. Even though I didn't really mind, you know, but it was really small. But the windows were large and nice views. So it was like, yeah, I really like this. This 
house was one of my favorites it was really nice like really really nice and the fact that the, the floors were already done meaning you don't have to pay extra money to get the floors done was just like yep this is really really nice really really nice i mean look at it it's such a beaut wow check it out the toilet was actually a fave as well i mean you have the bathtub then you have the walking shower cubicle then you have a mirror like you know and it was pretty modern it was really modern it was different from what we were seeing before like with the old tiles dirty bathroom they actually put in the effort to clean this place so yeah i really liked it, it even had a washroom as well like can you beat that it had a washroom guys so i really 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 like that it had vistos toilet as well now my favorite part of this entire house is the swimming pool guys from the swimming pool you get a view of the seaside even though i'm not a big fan of water and because i can't swim so like but it's just, it's just fun to look at like i mean it's not giving you major miami vibes like are you not impressed are you not impressed <laughs> so this was really really nice like it was just and it's so cold so calm so quiet so nice i really like this place it also has a gym as well so if you're like a gym junkie or whatever you guys call yourselves it has a gym which is really nice as well so yeah this was this was the the only house i know that i entered and i was like yeah this this could be one of my options this could be one of my options this is really really nice Guys, apartment hunting is actually the absolute ghetto, but I mean, I, I have what I want in mind, like the basic thing is I want somewhere that is really airy, like good lighting. In fact, I just want somewhere with good lighting, like large windows, good lighting, a terrace. I really want a terrace. So, but I can't find anything that ticks all those boxes for me. It's like, is it that it has a terrace and doesn't have windows? Or it has it has windows and lighting is still bad or it's dark or it's just way above my budget i don't know, I don't know. so then we moved on to the last but not the least apartment this was actually one of my faves as well i mean look at that swimming pool look at the greenery look at the vibes then you have the vistos drum it actually was very modern as well and it had this really high roof which was like the highest point for me i mean look at that living room look at the windows look at the lighting it has a walk-in kitchen as well like ugh, how modern could this house actually get a walk-in kitchen like i really like that i really really like that it had so much windows so much lighting and it had a terrace it had a terrace guys it had a terrace though this was actually quite pricey but it was still like i said fun to look at <laughs> yeah look at the views look at the greenery just look at it oh no this was this was my fave i actually want to know what you guys think what is your fave but this was my fave i really liked this the bedroom had a lot of windows i mean like four windows i think and a lot of lighting in fact it had this it has this loft apartment style that i really really liked and had this huge cupboard so it was everything just take a look just take a look at this toilet i mean you have one for yourself you have one for your partner we have a bathtub we have a walk-in shower like come on this is if this is not your fave then i don't know i don't know what you're looking for but this was such a fave see me doing the happy dance like i was super excited about it then it has a box room as well i mean if you're a nigerian you will know that you need extra storage because we carry a lot of load okay the second bedroom was actually very decent as well with two large windows like I love windows that start from the beginning of the roof to the ground always a fave Ugh. i mean look at that view like when you're taking a dump and you have that view perfect i loved everything about this apartment guys so we're done for today and i hope you guys liked this video i'm sure if you will find something from like all the 20 million options we went to today i'm sure we'll find something so i'll keep you guys informed on what we eventually find but i would not be disclosing the particular area and address just for security reasons okay because i mean 
it's not safe and i'm not going to be disclosing where we eventually choose so make sure to like make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video ciao oh my god why is everyone looking at me bye guys life is a winding road no telling where it